What is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be covering man in the middle attacks, what they are, and how to perform them, as well as how to prevent them. Before I get any further, Education Ecosystem requested that I made this video. If you guys don't know what they are, it's basically an online educational website that provides a variety of different topics on different videos. So you guys should go check that out. First of all, I want to talk about what is a man in the middle attack. So a man in the middle attack can best be described as an attack that involves three people. There's going to be the victim, and there's going to be the attacker, and there's going to be the entity in which the victim is trying to communicate with. So a very common example of a man in the middle attack today would be a phishing page. If you don't know what a phishing page is, I'll explain it. So for example, say that someone were to create a fake Facebook page and they were to send an email to a victim claiming to be part of the Facebook management team. Now, in doing this, the victim would be persuaded to believe that it is an official email, so the email would probably be something along the lines of enter your Facebook information here to secure your account. So the victim would enter their Facebook information on a uh, cloned web Facebook page that looks very similar to the real Facebook page, and then their information that they've inputted would be sent to the attacker. So in this case, the Facebook page would have been considered the entity in which the victim was trying to communicate with. The attacker would have been the person who cloned the Facebook page, and the victim would have been the person who entered their information. The more traditional man in the middle attack. This is actually commonly referred to as a man in the browser attack. The Traditional man in the middle attack actually involves the attacker to be within the physical proximity of the victim. So an example of this would be in a cafe with a low secure network. What the attacker would try to do is first they'd scan the network on the computer for different vulnerabilities. And once they find a vulnerability, they take advantage of that and they'd insert a tool, one of their tools from their computer so that they're able to intercept the communication between the victim and their computer. These are both very general examples. There's many different uh, methods of man in the middle attacks. But yeah, there's a difference between a man in the browser attack, which is more software based. So, for example, like malware, uh, phishing pages, stuff like that. Whereas a traditional man in the middle attack is going to be is going to require you to be within the physical proximity of your victim. So now using a program called Man in the Middle Framework, we're going to be testing the traditional Man in the Middle attack. So before we do anything else, you want to make sure your system is fully up to date. So to do that, you can go to your terminal, type sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade. Now I forgot to include this part in the video, but to download Man in the Middle Framework, all you want to do is go to your terminal and type sudo apt get install mitf. And again, you want to make sure your system is up to date so that you're able to download that. I also forgot to mention that if you want to check out some of the functions and the features of this program, all you have to do is go in your terminal and type MITF dash dash help, and it'll list all the things you can do with it. Um, for this specific video, I'm just going to be listing three general things you can do with this um, software to give you a better idea of how man in the middle attacks work. So what I'm going to be doing right now is showcasing a feature from man in the middle framework. And in this feature, it's going to scan, first of all, scan our network, and we're going to be able to capture pictures that are being downloaded from our target's computer. And it's going to be sent to our computer, and then this tool is going to flip that image, and it's going to be sent back to their computer so that all of the images that are able to be flipped will be flipped on their computer. I didn't explain that as well as I could have, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. So for this first example, we're first going to scan for our wireless network adapters using the ifconfig grep wlp command. So the grep command will filter out all results that don't include wlp. And the reason that I want to filter results for wlp is because my network adapter starts with wlp. Um, yours may not, so be aware of that. So we're next going to check for our network gateway by typing netstat tac rn. And we're going to search for the gateway associated with the network interface that we're using. So I recorded this in a funny way, so it kind of cut off the very right section of the terminal. On that right section, it lists the interfaces, and it lists the network adapter that I'm using, which is WLP14S0U2. So what you want to do is match up 
the gateway with the interface that you are using and in my case it's 192.168.0.1 so I'm typing the commands on the screen in order to specify the interface that I'm using I'm typing sudo mitf i and then you want to use the wireless network adapter that you're using and then you're going to type dash dash spoof dash dash r dash dash gateway and then the gateway number in my case 192.168.0.1 and then dash dash upside down internet which is the program that we are using to flip the images on our targets computer so once you press enter we're going to be looking at numerous requests passing through on our target machines that are images capable of being flipped when they pass through first our computer and then back to the targets device now this will keep running for as long as we leave it but basically what's happening is as our target is browsing through the internet all of the images are being sent to our computer and then back to theirs very quickly and then being flipped so this is an example of what that looks like uh, just a little image as you can see the image is being flipped so this video is meant to be a brief introduction to man in the middle attacks for those who aren't sure of what they are and how they work I understand this was a pretty brief tutorial but but I just wanted to make this so that people understand generally how they're performed and how they work and you guys can download this man in the middle framework play around with it and yeah so for my next video I'm actually I think I'm gonna start a series where I go to public locations and try different things on the network and I'm also gonna make a video where I go to my friend's house and I put a back door on his computer and I'm gonna play around with him to showcase how remote attacks can be prevented and how easy they are to perform so yeah that's that's all I want to say in this video if you guys enjoyed if it helped you understand man in the middle attacks better make sure to like and subscribe if you want to I'd appreciate it but yeah I'll see you next time